please you are welcome to this tutorial to draw the circle go to insert then from the shapes select the oval shape hold down the control plus shift key then draw the circle as shown then go to the fill shape fill select no fill then shape outline select the color you want now we are going to draw the tangent to the circle so we select the line tool and draw the tangent as shown we can also change the color to black now you can change the width to any width you want so that's it so now let's draw let's duplicate this line press ctrl d then you adjust it as the radius and now we are going to draw the right angle shape so let's go to the shapes again and pick the rectangle shape so draw a small rectangle and adjust it so remove the fill go to the format and no fill then select the color which is black for the outline you can adjust it to ob obtain the right angular shape the right angle shape now we are going to select all the three the tangent the right angle then the radius then press ctrl plus g to group it and press ctrl plus d to duplicate it now go to flip vertical from the rotate tab now you can adjust this to obtain your external tangent from a common point to a circle so adjust it until you obtain your diagram you can select the whole thing and press ctrl plus g again to group the whole thing now you can also draw a line connecting the center to the external point again you can change the color to any color you want now you can select all and press ctrl g to group everything now let's, let's see how we can draw parallel lines so go to the line select the line shape then draw a line you can change the color to any color you want now i want to show you how you are going to change the let me delete this first let me show you how to change the arrow type so we are going to format then let's go to arrows then you can select any arrow type you want now uh, you can duplicate this, this and adjust it adjust it to form two parallel lines then you can duplicate again to get your transversal and you can go back to the arrows and select the type of arrow you want so go back to arrows then select the first one now we are going to draw the arc angular shape so we select the arc shape from the tool and draw it as shown then we can also change the color to any color you want by going to the format then shape fill then you select the color you want or shape outline select the color you want so you can add, you can duplicate it then you get your two angles the corresponding angles you want now you can select all everything and group it by selecting ctrl plus a by pressing ctrl plus a you can select everything over here so you ctrl plus a then ctrl g and you can group it you can adjust it you can again change the color of the whole diagram good now let's see how we can draw a circle then angle at the center angle at the edge so let's draw a circle and remove the fill by going to fill then no fill then we can select the outline any color we want 
and we can change the weight this time now we want to draw a triangle inside so go and pick the triangle shape then you hold down the control press shift as you adjust the size now you fit it inside the triangle and remove the fill you can also change the weight of the triangle but now let's draw the angle at the center or let's create two angles two arms of the angles at the center so that's it if you are done you can select what is inside then you change the weight to the weight you want So we are selecting what is inside, then we change the weight, make it a bit heavy. Good. You can select everything and press Ctrl G to group it. You can adjust the size any way you want. Thanks for watching. The continuation will be uploaded soon. Please subscribe.